Girl, he never gave me no damn earrings. He probably gave those to Jennifer. So it looks like Jennifer Hudson is sick and tired of Tiffany Haddish spreading the narrative that they're both in a love triangle with Common, and Jennifer is determined to put Tiffany in her place. It has been years since Common dumped Tiffany like a hot potato, but it looks like Tiffany is still hung up on Common since then. Well, Jennifer is now putting an end to the BS that Tiffany has been spreading, and she is slamming Tiffany and telling her to stop talking about her relationship, or else y'all need to hold on to your edges and get on this drama because things are about to get messy. I'm in a relationship that is one of the most beautiful people I ever met in life. And she's, she's smart, she loves God, she has something real down to earth about her, um, she's talented. But, but I, set, I set my standard kind of high because she had to have an E-God. She, 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 she had to win an Oscar on her first movie. I set my standard high. She had to get her own talk show. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so it looks like Jennifer Hudson is getting sick and tired of Tiffany Haddish trying to hook up with her man, Common. And she is not trying to put Tiffany in her place, calling Tiffany out and telling her to keep her nose out of Common and Jennifer's relationship. Or else, according to reports, Jennifer genuinely believes that she has a good thing going on with Common and she is determined to protect her relationship at all costs, especially against an ex who is still obsessed with him and is trying to ruin his relationship with Jennifer. And that ex is none other than Tiffany Haddish. If you're wondering why Jennifer seems so protective of her relationship with Common, it because she has had more than her fair share of bad relationships in the past, so she is more than willing to fight for this one relationship that seems to be going well. I'm not trying to be shady toward Jennifer or be disrespectful toward her or anything like that because she is a legend in her own right and one of a few people in history to have won a Grammy, Emmy, Oscar, and Tony, so disrespecting her would be weird. But at the same time, we have to admit that her love life has been nothing short of chaotic and kind of messy, and she hasn't exactly been lucky when it comes to relationships, even though she tried to do the right things in relationships. Her first relationship was with a man named James Payton in 1999 when she was 18, and the relationship lasted for eight years. They broke up in 2007 when she was 26, and it's kind of impressive that she stayed in a relationship for that long. She was new in the industry and also kind of young, so the fact that she managed to hold on to a relationship for eight years is no small feat because y'all know how these celebs in Hollywood be breaking up every few business days. While she chose to keep the details of the breakup private, she did admit that it had something to do with how hectic her life was. She said, It was my choice to break up, definitely, but it was nothing new or foreign, like nothing out of the blue, like he didn't know what was going on. It had nothing to do with my fame at all. It was not an issue pertaining to that. She went on to hint that Peyton had had an issue with her work, saying, It is difficult with this type of lifestyle and being a strong woman and being in any type of relationship, which I've eventually come to learn when dealing with people, or malas at Tim's have issues when they are with a successful woman, or even, it's weird, and I mean that in general, across the board, it's something I've noticed in a lot of situations when it comes to successful women or strong women. However, she admitted that they kept in touch and were on friendly terms. When we broke up, it wasn't the fame, I don't want to put his business out there, it ain't my place to tell, and maybe that's a part of the private side to Jennifer but I just like to give people their respect to be honest and he's kind of like family to this day and I'm not going to put him on blast I'm not going to do him like that it didn't take long for her to move on and within a couple of months she had a new man in her life and the relationship moved fast she and Peyton broke up in late 2007 and by early 2008 she already had a new man WWE wrestler David Otunga they first met when he worked on the reality TV show I Love New York 2 well they didn't exactly meet on the show per se David being on the show gave him the opportunity to meet a lot of people in Hollywood, and one of his new friends decided to introduce him to Jennifer because he thought that they would be a great match. Well, the friend was right because Jennifer and David immediately took to each other. They started dating sometime in 2007, but the relationship moved very fast. He proposed to her less than a year later on her 27th birthday. This was in September 2008, and they were the perfect couple, or so we thought. Unfortunately, Jennifer's mom, brother, and nephew were killed by her brother-in-law a couple of weeks after Jennifer got engaged, and she had to lean on David for support. Luckily for her, he was more than willing to offer her the support that she needed. He was a very thoughtful partner and would even plan trips for them together so that she could take her mind off the horrible situation and start to heal. Jennifer got pregnant later that year and in 2009, she gave birth to their son, David Jr., and they had their perfect little family. By 2010, they had been engaged for more than two years and people had started wondering when exactly they were going to get married. Insiders revealed that they had planned to get married in 2010, but they decided to delay the wedding even more. And then they waited two more years. By 2012, the rumors had grown so strong that
that David had to come out to claim that they had already chosen a wedding date, but they were keeping it private. Jennifer even claimed that she had picked out a dress that was going to be a showstopper. They both claimed that the reason they delayed the wedding so much was that they were waiting for justice for the murder of Jennifer's mom, brother, and nephew. They said, that was something that was hanging over our heads for so long, and now we feel like we can finally breathe a sigh of relief. Everything is good now. But by 2014, there was still no word about their wedding, and at this point, it was kind of clear that things had gone downhill between them. David was absent at some pretty big moments in Jennifer's life and career. It was kind of clear at this point that there was something wrong with the relationship, but they kept denying it. They kept up the charade until 2017 when they couldn't pretend anymore and they announced that they had broken up. Honestly, we should have seen this coming for a while because Jennifer had said some things about their relationship that kind of sent red flags waving. In an interview, she talked about how he hated the fact that she had lost weight and was putting more effort into her appearance. Jennifer visited the Jay Leno show where she was asked, what does your fiance think? Does he like the new svelte you? Jennifer responded, he's getting adjusted to it. He's not really into change that much, so he fusses at me like, why do you have to have to get all dressed up to go out and why can't you just go out like you used to? And I'm like, I'm a walking billboard now, honey. Yeah, that was weird, but at first, it looked like the breakup had been mutual and they had simply outgrown each other, or their very busy schedules had some between them, just like it did with Jennifer's first relationship. However, it didn't take long for us to find out that there was a lot of beef and drama in the breakup, because they both got involved in a very long and very messy legal battle that involved allegations of DV and custody over their son, David Jr. Jennifer claimed that David had been treating her badly toward the end of their relationship, saying that he showcased increasingly aggressive, threatening, and harassing behavior toward her and their son as their relationship broke down and accused him of mental and physical abuse. She also accused him of being overly and irrationally jealous, and he accused her of cheating on him with multiple men and would use their son to try to spy on her. She spoke about a time when she had their son with her in a recording studio, and he asked the boy to make a video of Jennifer in the studio and send the footage to him because he believed she was dating one of her producers. Jennifer also stated that David allegedly told the boy, don't let your mom's boyfriend effing touch you. She claimed that he then went on to send her some threatening messages that got her so scared that she immediately called security because she was scared that he would show up at the studio and hurt her. But luckily, he didn't. However, she claimed that he was waiting for her when she got home and he ultimately confronted her at their home, where he allegedly grabbed their son by the arm and took him upstairs to the master bedroom, then roughly pushed her with one hand out of the room while holding the boy's other hand. However, David had something else entirely to say about the situation and claimed that things did not happen the way Jennifer told it, and she stretched the truth to make herself look better and get pity from the court and the public. In a statement to TMZ, his lawyer said that he denies each and every allegation Hudson has made against him and that at no time did Mr. Otunga physically push Ms. Hudson, as she has alleged. He claimed that the reason he was so upset with Jennifer was that she was acting irresponsibly with their son. According to him, Jennifer thought that it was appropriate to have their son at a recording studio until 12.30 a.m. on a school night. He claimed that his only concern that evening was putting the child to bed so that he could be well rested for school, and that was the real reason that he had gotten so upset with Jennifer, and it had nothing to do with him being possessive or jealous. But that was not the only instance where she claimed that he treated her badly, because she also spoke about this wild instance when allegedly left a firearm on their kitchen table to mess with her head as a weird sort of mind control. This was twisted on so many levels, because as I mentioned earlier, her mom, brother, and nephew were all unalived on the same day with a gun. So it goes without saying that she for sure carries some trauma when it comes to guns, so for him to leave a gun lying around to mess with her truth is just plain a devious. However, David's lawyers denied these allegations, claiming that he didn't own a firearm and that the gun in question was just a prop that he used for an audition, just as he told her it was at the time she saw it in their house. Jennifer didn't buy that it was an honest mistake, and she claimed that he used the fake gun as a silent intimidation tactic to get into her head. Well, David denied the DV allegations, and his lawyers released a statement saying, Mr. Otunga has never abused or harassed Ms. Hudson or their son, and it is unfortunate, especially in today's climate, that she would feel the need to make these false allegations against him. Mr. Otunga looks forward to his day in court and in being awarded the residential care of the party's only child. He also claimed that the reason that Jennifer was telling all those stories was that she was trying to get pity and paint him as an unfit parent so that she could get custody of their son. His lawyer said, he has never abused or harassed Ms. Hudson or their son. The lawyer went on to claim that David had been trying to negotiate the terms of an amicable parenting agreement with Jennifer for several weeks and said the actress and singer was trying to gain an 
unfair advantage in the custody dispute by filing her order. The lawyer added that David looked forward to his day in court and in being awarded the residential care of the party's only child. David denied these allegations, and the charges against him were cleared when the courts couldn't find any evidence against him. But the story got messier when David spilled the tea to TMZ that the reason for the breakup was that Jennifer had cheated on him with music producer Molly Music. Jennifer then accused David of leaking stories about her to the press to tarnish her image, and she filed for a gag order against him, which the courts granted. They had a very messy breakup where they both dragged each other in court. They eventually came to an agreement regarding custody, child support, gag order, and other stuff like that, and the drama just went away after that. The relationship started so well, but it got toxic, and the breakup was just as toxic. So when I said that Jennifer is holding on to her relationship with Common for dear life and isn't going to let Tiffany ruin it, I'm not messing around. It took her about five years after breaking up with David before she entered into the dating world, and she decided that Common was the perfect man for her to try her luck with. Their relationship has been going great, except for one thing, Common's ex, Tiffany, who still seems to be half in love with him. If you're wondering why is Tiffany all riled up about this relationship, well, let me give you the lowdown, because it all traces back to when Tiffany and Common were a thing. Their love story kicked off in 2019 on the set of the movie, The Kitchen. There were sparks, and expectations were high, but then Common randomly decided to rekindle things with his ex. Angela Rye and Tiffany felt like she'd been tricked and led on. Common had led her on, only to ditch her the moment his ex waltzed back into the scene. Surprisingly, Tiffany didn't hold a grudge against Common, despite their past breakup. Angela's new relationship with Common hit a dead end after a few months. Long story short, Angela wanted kids, but Common, who was already a parent, wasn't keen on expanding the family and having more kids. Their mismatched goals led to the inevitable breakup, and the moment they split, Common rushed back to lavish Tiffany with attention, and she fell for it because by 2020, they were officially an item again. They tried the whole celeb tactic of keeping their romance hush-hush for a bit, you know, the classic neither confirm nor deny strategy to keep the gossip mill churning. But fate had other plans. Lockdown hit, and they found themselves quarantining together, and the secret was exposed. Oh! Common. You're not, you're not daddy. Common had a couple of failed relationships before Tiffany came along, but folks still thought they made a cute pair. I mean, he even went to therapy after his breakup with Angela, all in a bid to be a better partner, and he even hinted at being down for marriage if he found the right match. You want to be a husband one day. You have a, a rather famous relationship coach. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah that, yes, uh, Michelle Obama, she has definitely helped talk me through just certain moments of relationships. We had conversations and she has given me a lot of wisdom. But one great thing that, that she told me as I was going through this journey was that you have to understand you're not going to get anybody that's perfect because you're not perfect. So understand that there's some certain things that you will compromise and, and and choosing that partner, but long as long as the the core values, the values that are most important to you, that person you know marks off on that list, then you good. She gave some good advice there. That's good wisdom. She does some really good wisdom there. Yeah. Tiffany put her all into the relationship, and she put her entire heart on Common being the one. But it was pretty obvious to anyone with eyes that Tiffany was in love with Common, way more than he seemed to be with her. Hold up though, I'm not throwing shade at Common here. He wasn't a jerk or anything, didn't mistreat her. It was just one of those situations where the excitement levels didn't exactly match up. And it was clear Tiffany was way more into him than he was. For example, Example. Tiffany was so excited about her 41st birthday and couldn't stop talking about it. In an interview, she revealed that she wanted Common to do something special for her birthday. She said, I'm just hoping me and my man, we going hot air ballooning and have us a nice little meal. That's what I would like to do. On my 39th birthday, I got drunk with my grandma, never done that before. And my 40th birthday, I had a bat mitzvah and that was super fun. This birthday, 41, I want to go up in a hot air balloon. Well, Common clearly had other plans because he just got her some flowers and that was that. However, Tiffany didn't get the message, and she continued to insist that things were perfect between them. She even claimed that she wanted him to propose to her, but she didn't want a regular diamond engagement ring. No, Tiffany insisted that she wanted him to propose with an apartment building. Trani, if he want to marry me, he can get me an apartment building. Oh, okay. No, that would be, you don't want a ring, you want an apartment complex. <laughs> I'd give me a duplex, an eightplex or something. You know, people in the home room be like, where your ring? I thought you was engaged. Where your ring? Where your carrots? Carrots. And if you're wondering what Common had to say about that, well, he basically said that he was there for a good time and not a long time. It was good for, for me and the lady, <laughs> you know. 
Right now, all I want is happiness, good times, um, peace on earth. Yeah, this was a major embarrassment for Tiffany. And at this point, we already knew that the relationship was pretty much over because they weren't on the same page. And when Tiffany started talking about how she wanted a lot of kids, we knew right then and there that it was over because Common has talked over and over about how he no longer wants kids, at least for now. So when they announced their breakup, it took nobody by surprise because even Stevie Wonder could have seen it coming. Common claimed that the breakup was due to their very busy schedules. Once Tiffany and I got back on the move, it, it really didn't allow for us to spend as much time and put as much energy into our relationship. I don't think the love really dispersed. I just think it was just like, we weren't feeding the relationship. But Tiffany was not about to let Common spread this narrative, so she chose to tell her own side of the story. She revealed that he had broken her heart and said, he might be the type of person that never really settles with somebody. Maybe he's like, you know, like a bee going from flower to flower to flower. I don't know. I wish him nothing but joy and happiness. Insiders spilled the tea that she was pretty hurt by the breakup, claiming she got blindsided by it. Despite their shaky relationship, Tiffany had been holding out hope they'd work things out, but Common decided to pull the plug instead. So when whispers started swirling about Common and Jennifer Hudson cozying up, it felt like reopening an old wound. Word on the street was Tiffany got a case of the green-eyed monster over their newfound romance because she wasn't quite over Common just yet and she was very jealous. Before they started dating, Common and Jennifer had known each other for years because they ran in similar circles in Hollywood. But they got really close last year when they both worked on the movie, Breathy. An inside source revealed that they've known each other for years. Things took a romantic turn while they were filming in Philadelphia over the summer. When the day's shoot wrapped, they'd always find their way to each other's side. At first, Jennifer tried to deny the dating rumors, saying, People create their narratives of it. We shot a film together and he played my husband. We gotta eat in between those moments. But then they were spotted on a date in Malibu after the movie finished filming and the rumors got stronger. Finally, we got confirmation of their romance when he flew all the way to London to show support for her musical, A Strange Loop. According to an insider, there has been speculation for months regarding whether or not not they are together, but the fact they've traveled all the way to London together just shows they're very much an item. They arrived to the show individually to avoid any commotion, but away from prying eyes, they were very much in each other's company. Well, they didn't directly confirm the relationship at the time, until about two weeks ago when he went on her talk show and she asked him this. So this, are you dating anyone? <laughs> so, yes, and I'm in, a relationship that is one of the most beautiful people I ever met in life. And she's, she's smart, she loves God, she has something real down to earth about her. Um, she's talented, but, but I, set, I set my standard kind of high because she had to have an E-God. She, 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 she had to win an Oscar on her first movie. I said my standard high, she had to get her own talk show. Oh, okay. Yeah, so. I'm not gonna lie, that was kind of cute, but what really sealed it up was this cute selfie that they posted after, cause it has all the girlies gagged and rooting for them. But y'all wanna know who isn't rooting for them? Tiffany, that's who. Well, Tiffany is now throwing mega shade at Common and Jennifer's relationship. When a fan claimed that they gave Common a pair of earrings to give to Tiffany, this is what she said. Girl, he never gave me no damn earrings. He probably gave those to Jennifer. But Tiffany didn't stop there because she has been obsessing over her relationship with Common and how he did her dirty. In a recent interview, she said, it was the healthiest, the funnest relationship I've ever had. It's where I felt safest out of all the relationships I've ever had. The breakup wasn't mutual. It was more him saying, I think this relationship has run its course. And I was like, okay, like you gonna be a 50 year old single man, okay? Well, the streets are now claiming that Jennifer feels a type of way about Tiffany speaking on her man and her relationship. And she is putting Tiffany in her place. According to an insider, Jennifer has been in a couple of bad relationships in the past, and she is now holding on firmly to her relationship with Common because it's the best and healthiest relationship that she has been in for a while, and she is not about to let Tiffany mess it up. Yeah, this is kind of weird, and it had fans on Jennifer's side saying stuff like, you need to stop, you're in enough trouble. Tiffany, stop the media trauma. Don't disrespect your black sister. Move on and make money. Jennifer Hudson is Virgo like Beyonce, which means she's unbothered, will ignore Tiffany, act like she doesn't exist and ain't responding to Tiffany's shade and foolishness. And Jennifer didn't steal her man. They were already broken up. Yeah, this situation is weird and it doesn't look like we're going to be seeing the end of this messy love triangle anytime soon. But in the meantime, y'all let me know how you feel about this, then check out this next video.